Hi, this is Piotr Garley and this is a short video on how to crop a picture in PowerPoint. Let's make it as simple as possible. Remember, simplicity is fast, effective and visually appealing. Before we get started, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the bell. Also, remember to download my free ebook 21 Golden Rules for a Great Business Presentation. You can find the link in the description. Ok, so how can we insert a picture into a slide? We can do it in a couple of ways. The way I use most frequently? I just drag a file from the folder and place it into the slide. The other option is to go to Insert tab and here we can expand the Pictures option. We can select inserting a picture from the drive, from stock library or online pictures from Bing search engine. Now I select stock images and I'll find a couple of portrait photos. Let's focus on one of them for now. What can we do with such a photo? First of all, we can crop it so that we can cut the edges off. Select the picture, go to Picture Format tab and click Crop option. Little black lines will appear in the photo. If we grab one of them and drag it inside, the appropriate part of the photo will be cropped. Just click the mouse somewhere outside the photo. Other option is to expand the photo to cover the whole slide. What we need to do is to click the corner of it and pull it outside so that the image will be large enough to cover the whole slide. The easier way to do it is to go to Crop option, expand it and select Aspect Ratio 16 by 9, which is the exact ratio of our slides. Then it's much easier to fit the photo into the slide dimensions. Moreover, we can do some fancy arrangements with the photo, changing its shape to a different one, but let's keep it simple. If I change the photo to any shape, it usually is a circle. But not like this. This is ugly asymmetrical circle. If we wanted to make it fully symmetrical and narrow it down, then our model would lose a couple of kilo. Don't do it. What we need to do is to go to Crop option and select Aspect Ratio 1 by 1. This way we would change the image to a square. And afterwards we will be able to turn it into a symmetrical circle, just like this. Ok, now let's do something interesting with this slide. First, let's crop these images with aspect ratio 1 by 1. Then we change them into circles. Now let's reduce the size. a line and some text. Almost ready. But I have an idea to make this slide a little more visually appealing with a very simple manner. A light grey rectangle as a background for the content. 
Yes, this is my favorite color. It works perfectly with any other colors. Now I'm happy with the effect. Another example. Let's find some nice photo inside the image stock. Now let's change it to a circle. A couple of straight horizontal lines. What for? You will see in a minute. To make it more interesting, it would be better if we make their ends with such ovals. I make them a bit thicker and align them properly. Now goes the text. And voila, here we have it. Okay, thank you for watching. Please remember to download my free ebook and start following me on Twitter. If you want to master your presentation skills, check out my course Professional PowerPoint Presentations. It's a concise and thorough course for anyone willing to become master of business type presentations. Are you a manager and want to speed up your work with presentations? or want to impress your boss and clients with stunning presentations? Go to the link in the description. Want some more tips and tricks? Subscribe and stay tuned!